Today I'm working on a Miata. I picked up this little Miata. It's a it's an NA uh, a 92. Um, it actually has an NB engine, a 99 1.8 engine in it. Um, it's going to be a track car. It's just going to be to kind of play around and run with the uh, the informal Miata uh, races at a, at a club at the Monticello Motor Club. And anyhow. Um, I want to put the seat in, and I'm kind of a short guy, and I want the seat, but I want the seat to be in the rearmost position, or pretty close to the rearmost position. Um, a few reasons. It, it'll help out the weight distribution in the car a little bit. Uh, at some point, I actually want to uh, make better door bars for the side of the car, and by having the seat rearward, it will give me a better, uh, a larger opening. Uh, in, in the between the seat and the cage to climb out and uh, I think the visibility when you're sitting back a little bit is a little bit better and you're you're farther away from the uh, the front uh, roll bar hoop bar up here so there's there's a few reasons why I want the seat to be rearward but when the seats in that position I can't reach the pedals so uh, you know the easiest solution is to move the seat forward but um, that's not what I want to do. So I want to move the pedals rearward, move the pedals back. So I've gone ahead and using a die grinder, I've cut the, uh, the, the um, pads of the pedals off and the gas pedal I've just actually taken. That was easy to, to just uh, take off of its mount and remove. So here's, a, uh, here's the, the clutch pedal you know, that, I, that I cut off. I just used a die grinder and just slice it off. So then what I've done is figuring out, you know, I've got my, my pedal piece here and uh, I've made like a little cardboard template of the, um, of the top part of the pedal, right? So that kind of went like that and I marked the line where vertical was. Um, now I can, uh, I, I made a little um, template for you know what I want to a little spacer I want to create so if I make a little metal piece like that that's going to move the pedal back two inches so and uh, here's my little, my little metal piece that I made from the cardboard template and for the brake pedal I've done the same I made a template for that and I've already welded this one together and so the next step is to is to weld this on under the car or uh, under the dash to the car and then the gas pedal kind of the same the same deal I uh, uh, cut the the pedal off it was originally welded right to the to the round rod down here but I was able to, to cut it off and making two little um, uh, well this is showing up on the on the white car here but making yeah, two little metal strips I was able again to extend that pedal forward two inches In addition to extending the pedals forward, I'm also going to use a, a two-inch spacer uh, for the steering wheel hub, um, which will move the steering wheel rearward by two inches. And I've also made a little adapter spacer thing for my shift lever here so that it moves the shifter rearward two inches as well. So hopefully that'll put all the controls within my reach when the seat is in the rearmost position. A few things I wanted to point out that I did before um, I started is I put some blue painter's tape down on the floor and this allowed me to then use a square and to then see, you know, where the pedal locations were and I put a little strip of blue, blue tape on the square to designate the height of the pedal as well so I know that when I'm done, you know, it should be at the same height, just two inches rearward.
So wow, look at that. Petals two inches closer than they were. They seem pretty lined up with my marks where I expected them to be. So this is all a, a very good thing. I have confidence in my welds and in the material I used. Nothing's going to break off. And uh, hopefully yield good results. Seat is in, in the position I like. These pedals are close back. Steering wheel again has been extended towards me, and I've actually, I don't know if the camera will pick this up. Let's see. I've put spacers in um, between the, uh, the column and the, and the mount for it. There were about one inch spacers. I made them a little longer to lower it down so that um, the steering wheel is kind of in front of me and the steering wheel doesn't stick up above the, uh, above the instrument cluster there. So from my view, let's see here, from my view the steering wheel is about like that. So I can just see the, over the hood. Quite nice, quite nice, good position. I've got the gear shifter right here. All is good. And I've actually mounted my wink mirror so that I've got a good view behind me. The little car's coming together. 